Since moving into this new house, my wife has been asking me for a brand new kitchen. And like the good husband that I am, I said, of course not. Are you crazy? I don't want peace. I want problems, always. Honestly, there's not too much wrong with this kitchen. This microwave, for example, has a broken trim piece, which is held on by duct tape. Some of the doors have issues closing. That's just an adjustment. But hey, look at the black handles. We just changed them. So instead of doing a kitchen, I'm going to give her the next best thing, a new backsplash. The brown and the light green and the dark green and the taupey color, it really isn't our style and we got to change it up with something a little better. I took Terry to the local tile shop and she ended up choosing this white subway tile uh, with a little bit of texture. Um, the other thing too, it was a fantastic price for per square foot. so. That's just a great bonus. Okay, now that the tile's chosen, now I gotta start with demo. But I really don't wanna do this. Or this. And that. I don't wanna do any of that. This just seemed like a lot of work for what this project was gonna be. Plus, I don't really have the time to do this demo and clean it up. We got three kids, young kids, so yeah, this is not what I wanna do right now. So I turned to Google and search, can I tile over tile? And the short answer is yes. From the videos that I've watched, I essentially just have to lay down a special tile primer and then tile it normally. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. This area here is the only area that's going to be demoed. The tile just sits too far out and it's just not going to be a good look and it'll be hard to finish so I'm going to remove that. I got to be extremely careful when removing this tile. It's glued to one of the cabinets on the side there and it's made out of particle board so I don't want to be punching holes through that thing so I got to take my time here and make sure uh, I take it out piece by piece. The next step here is to prep the walls for primer. Here I'm just washing down the walls with soap and water, pretty much trying to degrease everything. I want to make sure that I get good adhesion with the primer and nothing falls off. Here is the primer of choice. It's uh, Eco Prim Grip by MyPay. I believe I'm saying that right. Uh, it's quite expensive and the amount that I used um, was very minimal, but it's a time saver and uh, it's totally worth it. Um, here I was just prepping up all the spaces and uh, I started off with this foam roller just to see how it was gonna go, but I felt like that took way too long so I switched over to a brush and that made everything go a lot faster. This primer is a lot thinner than uh, regular paint, so uh, just be mindful of it. Cover up your areas. I ended up doing two coats and when it was all dried, it had like this very sandy texture. And I guess this is uh, perfect for the new tile to stick to. I disconnect the mounting screws for the electrical plugs. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with electrical, do yourself a favor and find the breaker and disconnect the breaker for the power. I'm pretty comfortable working around electrical, so I didn't bother doing it, but don't follow my advice. Be safe, play it safe. Don't be that guy. I picked up this pre mixed tile adhesive. It covers 40 to 50 square feet, and my project's only 30 square feet, so this was perfect for me. It was relatively cheap. I'm using a 3 16 V notch trowel here and 1 16 spacers. To cut the tiles, I just use a manual uh, tile cutter and an uh, angle grinder with uh, a porcelain grinding disc. The tile goes on fairly quickly once you start going and it's a fairly quick process. It's time for grout, so read the instructions on the bag and mix accordingly. When applying uh, grout to the tile, just uh, make sure that you're applying in all directions and making sure that you're filling all the gaps. 
Uh, after that, wipe off all the excess grout. You're gonna have to do this a few times until all the haze is off the tile. Do a little cleanup, add some silicone, and here's the final result.